What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Now, this could become worrisome for the Clippers. Um, definitely, you know, a situation I think the Clippers should look at in regards to, you know, a player that they just gave a contract to this offseason. And the player I'm talking about is uh, Ivica Zubak. Now, Zubak himself, uh, I've been um, critical of Zubak over the last couple seasons in regards to his development, in regards to how I feel like he should uh have developed a lot more as a big man but i mean we can go back and forth about that all day long but it really doesn't matter at this point because the biggest um thing or the biggest issue is the possible injury he suffered during uh playing uh euro basketball uh which is uh you know playing for you know his team and everything like that so which that could be a bad thing for the clippers of course because you know uh we don't need any injuries if possible. And that's the model the Clippers should actually live by this season and going forward. Pretty much every team lives by that. But I mean, the Clippers, especially because they have been probably the most injury riddled team the last couple seasons that's been projected to win a championship or that's good enough to win a championship. And, you know, an injury like this to Ivica Zubak is just a setback if it's a real injury that can set him back, you know, you know far or he might not be able to play you know or he's not going to be 100 percent healthy i mean these are setbacks that the clippers don't need because as i said before this is really their last season together as a unit i don't believe some of if you know a lot of the players uh are going to be there next season you know i feel like you know i mean of course the core guys i believe still might be there but you know the terrence mans and the you know luke canards and players like that they might not necessarily be there next year you know what i'm saying i really hope that they do <clears throat> But it's very um, it's a very up in the air type situation in regards to them, those type players or uh, other role players along with those players because contract issues and all that. And then on top of that, you know, there's still an option player option, I believe, for both Kawhi and PG after their second year into their contract. They're able to actually walk to as well. Not saying that either one of them will, but the possibility is there. And uh, this will be the second year in Kawhi, I think, uh, contract signing along with Paul George, I believe, you know, after this offseason. So, I mean, you know, after with that being said, you know, it um, having that option to go and walk and other players might not be able to come back due to contract issues or something like that or whatever the case may be. You know, um, you, you, it, it, it'll be hard for the Clippers to lose players like, you know, Luke Kennard. Terrence Mann, Nicholas Batum, possibly Reggie Jackson. You see what I'm saying? So any injury the Clippers get this season is really, really detrimental to their success. And uh, Zubak is a big part, you know, of their success because he's really the only big man that they really have. I mean, Moses Brown, we don't know how good he is. He didn't hardly play any with Dallas, um, or at least I didn't see him with Dallas uh, play any. So, I mean, he can't be but so great. And um, whoever else they have on the back end really isn't a household name because a lot of people might not even know who it is or what the player is really actually worth. That's, that's the reason why I said in a couple videos ago, I think they should definitely go after um, Boogie Cousins because Boogie Cousins is the type of player that they really need to me to give them that versatility. And of course, they had Boogie Cousins, but they end up, you know, um, cutting bait with him. And he, you know, traveled around a couple places, you know, since being on the Clippers, but no success from what I see on his end. But the Clippers still have an opportunity to sign him. And honestly, I believe they should definitely look into it even more now if if he's still available um, because of this possible Zubak injury. And Zubak is, you know, one of those players where even though he hasn't developed to the player, I think he should be. But he's still developed enough to, you know, help this team, you know, uh, win. You know what I'm saying? Because he is their big man. He is their number one big man. There's no other player, no other center on that roster that gets the starting spot over Zubak. And that's it's okay with everybody and it's totally fine it's just that you know any injuries that right now is a bad time to be injured you see what i'm saying unless you you know coming off injury like Kawhi or something like that or maybe a situation like john wall anybody else's injuries is really not feasible right now and i know that sounds very cliche to say but it's kind of sort of that way because the clippers need everybody as healthy as possible and they're trying to see if they can get you know um john wall acclimated to the team trying to see if Kawhi, you know 
can you know reach the status of what he was before he actually got injured with the uh you know uh minor uh tear in the acl that he had and um you know paul george did come back last season at the end but you know he's still probably recovering from his injuries as well along with other players on the team so everything er every moment every injury everything is crucial for the clippers right now and um the fact that we haven't heard any updates on zubak is very worrisome because you know um it was about it was reported about three four days ago about the possible injury he suffered playing euro basketball and you know it is big in regard to Zubak and when it comes to the Clippers because he's probably the most reliable player that they've had I mean honestly since you know Kawhi and PG and this whole operation was set up uh Zubak has been the most reliable been the most healthiest player they've had I mean through I mean uh through COVID through regular just regular injuries you know all that he's been the most reliable from what I can see you know of course you know if I, we're not going by st statistical numbers or anything like that but based upon you know just the eye test he's been one of if not the most reliable player on that roster you know so as far as like availability anyway is what i'm talking about so you know to have a player like him go down or possibly go down is a big thing that's the reason why you know i'm still waiting on more updates of zubak i really want to know about his situation and dive into it more but they're not providing any information in regards to that the last information i had was which i told you uh, you know, you all, which was si.com, sportsillustrated.com, and they talked about the possible injury he suffered, you know, playing uh, basketball in the offseason. And that's um, definitely a setback for the Clippers because he's the only legitimate big man I think that they have. Like I said, we don't know about Moses Brown. We don't know if he's any good. We don't know if the back, we don't even know if his backup is really any good for the Clippers. So, I mean, it's like, you know, the Clippers really need to look into getting another big man. And this is the reason why I said about a month ago on my previous videos, you could definitely go check them out that the Clippers really need to invest in finding a big man another big man because Zubak just isn't good enough and I'm not saying Zubak isn't good enough as in like his talent isn't good enough Zubak what I'm saying is Zubak isn't good enough because it's not enough depth in that area you need another you, you need another certified backup who can step in and you know at least provide the capabilities that Zubak can provide and or better you see what I'm saying so that's the reason why I said I think they should definitely look into Boogie Cousins if he's still available DeMarcus Cousins is still decent and honestly when he played for the Clippers about a season about a season ago um or two ago he played pretty well for the minutes that he was uh asked to go in and contribute so um I think think that you know the Clippers definitely need to add more depth in the area. I've been saying it all offseason because you can't just rely on the fact of having Zubak and rely on the fact that he's going to stay reliable and don't get hurt because, you know, health is a big issue for every sport team out there, for any person out there, really, in, in, in life, really. But, I mean, when we're talking sports, health is really huge. So, I mean one guy that you rely on to be your number one center you got to have a, a a superior second backup where you feel comfortable where he can go in and almost do the same things provide almost the same type of you know level of play that Zubak can provide at least on the back end and the club the Clippers had that covered about a year or two ago uh, about a season ago because they had um, Serge Ibaka but the only problem with that was Serge just didn't stay healthy enough for them even though Serge would have been a great backup to uh, Zubak now that he's older and the fact that Serge can actually stretch the floor and shoot the ball a lot better than Zubak can I felt like they I felt like they would have been a good one-two punch you know center position off the bench where you got one center who rebounds still can block shots decently not at the level the defensive player he once was in uh, Serge Ibaka but but you also have, you know, Zubak who gets in the paint with a feathery touch, finished good around the rim, soft hands, and, you know, he's got decent footwork to be a big man. So, I mean, I felt like the the, the balance they had between them two would have been perfect. But now that they don't have, they traded away uh, Surge and, you know, Zubak is the only one there now, the last one standing in the center position. They definitely need another body there, I think. And I don't, like I said, I'm not sure about Moses Brown. Maybe they got more confidence in him than I do. And that's glad if they, I'm glad if they 
do. But um, definitely, I don't think the Clippers should rest until they actually at least search around and find another big man. I think they could add to the depth of their roster that can make them more um, unique as a team and more well-rounded. So let's just see what the Clippers do based upon, you know, um, the news coming out about Zubak a few days ago, which I reported on. Since there's no updates on that, let's see if they actually make another move and possibly get another big man on the roster soon. But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Check out my other videos if you haven't. And hey, Cali out.